Hey everyone, welcome to this episode of Cart Crazy. Behind me sits the craziest cart you're ever going to see on this channel. Today I'm helping out working on a SEMA build that you're going to really want to stick around for. Come along for the ride, let's get started. All right, well here it is, and I cannot take credit for any of this. Um, like I said, this is the craziest cart you're going to see on this channel. We are in an undisclosed location in northeast Oklahoma. This cart is going to the SEMA convention the first week of November, and it is the end of August, and there's a long way to go. But the object today is we're going to get this cart wired up. It has a Navitas uh, motor and uh, an eco battery and um, a, a lot going on here. I'm just going to let you kind of take it all in. Uh, everything is one off. It's totally custom. A lot, a lot of fab work and uh, hours and hours and hours and a lot to go, like I said. So, kind of trial and error as we go. And uh, Charles, the owner of this cart, um, we kind of met on Facebook and he needed a little help with this. And that's why we're here today. We're going to get this wired up. We've got the controller right here. This thing is so tall, uh, I've got to stand on my tippy toes just to get you a shot there. It's going to have, what would you say, Charles, 44-inch or 45-inch tall tires? 44. 44s on a golf cart. Can you believe that? Um, this thing is wild. This is, uh, you know, the name of the channel is Cart Crazy, but I have never done anything even remotely close to this. Uh, when I saw it on Facebook, I was like, yep, i got to go help out on that. This thing is amazing. We've got uh, rear brake rotors. Some of this stuff is off pickup trucks. Um, unbelievable. I'll give you more information as we go. I'm still learning about it here uh, this morning. It's, it's bright and early. We're going to get cracking on this. But uh, I'll, as I learn, I'll share the information with you. But uh, I'll probably put you on a little time lapse here. And uh, we'll get some wiring done and kind of show you the progress as we go. But look at the detail on this. I mean, it is just absolutely insane. Let you take it all in for just a second. We've got spindles. I believe those are off a of Dodge on the front. Shortened axle. Everything is just custom, custom, custom. About the only thing left from a golf cart is the, uh, the frame, obviously. Uh, it was an extended cart or a limo cart. And, um, you know, that's, that's about the only thing original. Everything else has been cut apart, torn apart, rebuilt, revamped. It is absolutely amazing. So... We'll get going on the wiring a little bit, and I'll get back with you here in a second. So what we're doing now is lowering the air shocks down so it gets a little better working height. There it goes. All right, well, there it is uh, down at a little better working height. We've got the air out of the shocks, um, and now it's kind of uh, more like chest level here, maybe a little higher for me, but um, we're going we're gonna to make it work. We can get in here now and see. You've got the uh, 70 volt on the Eco. He's got a lot of this stuff uh, kind of pre-done, which is going to save us some time here. We've got the charger in there, and uh, we'll be able to... Uh, Start cranking on some of this wiring, but look at this barrage of parts we've got back here. Um, Eco battery stepped up, Navitas stepped up, so this is going to be uh, quite the build. Um, here's our harness, uh, box from the controller, forward and reverse switch. I'm just kind of seeing some of this stuff for the first time myself, so should be pretty straightforward. You all have seen me do a Navitas conversion before, so let's get cracking. All right, so we just started plugging some of the Navitas together. Uh, we've got our tow run switch, and we've got our wire run down to the motor. We're going to figure out a spot for the solenoid here. Right now, Charles is working on our red, white, green, and black extensions for our pedal assembly. That's going to run, obviously, underneath the cart. It wasn't quite long enough, being that this was a stretched cart. So we're going to extend those out, and figure out our key switch uh, which is right here in the harness now if you remember on the last Navitas build I did we had an extra 
uh, basically set of four wires in the harness that we ended up not using and I, I'm about 95% sure that's going to be the case here. You see where it comes out on this end and that's run through this harness. So we may end up pulling that harness apart and taking that out. Um, and this we won't use because uh, the Navitas setup has its own for the speed sensor. So kind of extra wiring. This is a, this is a harness for a factory easy go which works fine. Um, it just has a few extra, you know, chunks in there of wire that we're not using. So just doing some measuring, trying to get our length right on some of these wires. And we can get these little ones done and then we'll be able to uh, proceed with some of our two gauge. All right, just a little status update. Um, getting things accomplished. We've got our wire harness tore apart, kind of down to where we need it. And just like I thought, we didn't need that extra chunk of wiring. So we pulled that out. Um, Charles, the owner of the cart, has got our uh, pedal assembly wired in. These go down underneath the cart and up to the new pedal assembly. Uh, just getting ready to charge the battery. We've only got 1%, so we've got to throw some juice into that. Um, Charles has been working away getting the motor wires uh, kind of ran up and then up through the floor here so we can get to our controller. We've got to make them kind of extra long because of the obviously the height of this cart. But then it's just kind of uh, plug and play. We got, uh, you know, our WV and U down to the motor that we're going to do. Our battery negative, obviously, to the battery negative. On the other side, we have our positive, which is going to come over to the solenoid. The R is not used on this application. And uh, then from the solenoid, we will run. So we'll have positive to the controller, and then we'll run positive to the battery. And a few other things, and we're actually pretty close to seeing if this thing's going to uh, take off and run here. Obviously not out the door, thankfully, but we'll make a maybe a temporary key switch here and see how close we are. Okay, we're getting close to our first uh, mock-up here. Our battery was basically stone dead, so we had that on the charger for a little while. Got it up to, I think, 7 or 8%. Just kind of temporarily got our solenoid mounted here. Um, a little baffled on the wiring going up to the front. This one's a little bit different than the harness I'm used to, so we got to get through that. I got to check some voltages, but we're pretty much ready uh, to feed it the onions here and see what we got. Uh, our shift interlock or our battery interlock, that's probably got to be done yet. We'll check that here in a second, but all our cables are run uh, down to the motor. We're getting real close, so Let's, uh, let me set the camera down here and we'll uh, see what we got. Okay, it's been several hours. Um, had everything hooked up. We've got our key switch, our forward reverse, and we were scratching our heads pretty bad here. Um, not quite sure what was going on, going over things and over things, looking at wiring diagrams. Finally got Navitas tech support on the line and um, they've determined I'm going to blame this on myself a little bit. I had the blue and the yellow on the same pole here. I've never used this kind of solenoid. And they said that back it in and, and shorted something out in the controller. So that is 100% my fault. And I feel bad for Charles here because he's trying to get this thing going. And, and we've been wasting a lot of time here. But Navitas is great, obviously. They're a great company. They're going to um, either refurbish this one or send another one out so we can get this thing going. But uh, unfortunately, that's going to do it for this video. I was hoping to see uh, at least the, uh, the thing turn here on the hoist, but that's as far as we're going to get. So stay tuned. We'll see what happens on this thing. Appreciate you all coming along.